Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about one of the biggest traps that makers fall into when they are building their side project or their startup or just their idea overall. And this big trap is overthinking and over planning. By this, I mean that I have been talking to some of my students and some of my students are makers. They like to build stuff and they have shown me their projects and they have been showing me their progress. And it's amazing, the ideas are good, but they haven't finished them. And I believe that this happens uh, everywhere in the world when you are making something, it's very easy to never finish. It's very easy to get stuck in the process and never have anything as a result, especially when you are making it by yourself and nobody is pressuring you. So this applies when you're building like a side project or a project that is not super urgent or for your boss. They set a very high standard for what the product should be or they overthink and over plan what the product should do. You don't need to have the most fastest, most optimized, beautiful, code anybody has ever seen. You don't need to study how to work with Docker or Amazon to make it as fast as you can and optimize all the database queries so they can support millions of users and whatever. Like you don't need that. How does Google do it? How does Airbnb do it? How does Uber do it? And that's the problem. Most of our projects are not Google. They are not Amazon. They are not Airbnb. They're not Uber. They, most of our projects are going to fail and that's okay. The thing is that we need to learn how to fail fast. And if every time that you're making a project, what you're doing is coming up with the most fancy, optimized, perfect solution, then you're never gonna finish. You will need to learn as makers how to set limits to ourselves. We need to learn as makers how to stop over engineering things. If your product is not finished, those thousands of people are not going to come. Those million of active real-time connections are never going to get there because you didn't finish your product. So don't over-prepare what you're programming. Don't waste time learning really complex stuff that only somebody with millions of users should learn. Don't worry if, for example, you don't understand Amazon and you go to Heroku, which could be a little bit slower than Amazon, for example. Don't worry about that. Because who gives a shit about the speed of one millisecond and two milliseconds if you have 300 users or if you had a thousand users? And I'm saying this out of experience. It has happened to me that I make a project and I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going to do server side rendering. I am going to cache this. I'm going to make this a PWA. I'm going to let people have offline support. And I start coming up with features that they will be amazing. But then at the end of the day, a project takes me six months eight months and at the end of the day nobody's using it so what i think everybody should do is just fail fast build your project as fast as you can it doesn't matter if it's not pretty it doesn't matter if it's not the most silicon valley way but at least build it finish it and then if you get those two million users which i hope you do then we can talk about how to actually support two million users but the point has to be finish first and optimize later that will be my advice for today. Finish first, optimize later. Let me know what you think. If you think um, the different way, I would like to hear that in the comments. I really appreciate your comments, your likes, your suggestions and everything. So thank you for watching and that's it. It's